we're headed to Plum Orchard Gap, 4.5 miles. We're just coming out of Dick's Creek Gap where we stayed at Hostel Around the Bend. Awesome hostel. We didn't want to leave. In fact, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> so we did stay there a while, but we knew we only had 4.5 miles to go. So there's that. We didn't have to go a long way. Yeah, and we had to eat lunch once or twice and um, breakfast and replenish our calories before we go up all these stairs. <laughs> Good morning or afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's afternoon. It is 80 degrees, the last day of February. <laughs> this weather has been absolutely psycho. <laughs> I am frying. <laughs> it just can't make up its mind. Is it winter or is it summer? There's our water source. Isn't that beautiful? Second mountain of the day. The first one was hardly a mountain. It was pretty small. It only hurt for a little while. <laughs> this one's a lot bigger. We've been going up for a while now. I don't remember the elevation on it or the name of the mountain. If I can put it in the video later. That is Powell Mountain that we came over yesterday to get to the hostel. And we're climbing its buddy, next door neighbor, today. Notice anything different? Look close. Besides wearing shorts, the last time you saw us, we were bundled up. <laughs> she has new poles and a nice brand new still white backpack. Hyperlite Mountain Gear backpack. They have an outfitter at Hostel Around the Bend with awesome stuff. So she dropped, how many pounds did you drop there? Five? More? By replacing the few items of gear? I basically, I probably dropped about 10. 10 pounds? She's down to 21 pounds, which is awesome. Still more climbing to do. See the tiny little hiker up there? Well, he's behind the tree right now. There he is, between the two trees. We gotta go up there. Yeah, he passed us. We're not ashamed. We're near the top, I think. <laughs> you never know. We could go over there and you can see there's higher part of the mountain over there. But right here, it looks like we might end up having a view on the other side of the mountain. We haven't had views, real good views in a long time. And today is just so clear and beautiful. So we may end up with something great, hopefully. Uh, we're not quite to the top yet, but there is a little bit of a view out there. Lots of mountains. Nope, we weren't at the top yet. We're a long way from the top. <laughs> There's those false summits, and then all of a sudden you come around and you see this big other part of the mountain that you have to still go up. There we go. There's the rest of the mountain. Well, as much as we can see anyway. There could be even more. There could be another hump too. You never know. Well, we can look at our Far Out app. It shows us all the elevation profiles and everything. But sometimes you just don't want to know. You want it to be a surprise. Okay, this is the Far Out app. You can see we started where that little tent is, right there. Mm -hmm. We went down a little, uh, well, up a little, down a little, and then up a lot. And then now we're, oh, 
little over halfway up this mountain. We thought we were already well, up that little false summit right there. <laughs> but that blue ball is us. And then we have another one to climb. Look at that. Beautiful. It has two summits. That's why sometimes you just don't really want to know. <laughs> it's better just keep hiking up the hill and you don't know what's coming. We usually use it pretty frequently though and check stuff just so we know when to get water, when the next water source is. And if we've got a really big climb, we know we need to get a little water to make it up the hill, especially when it's hot like today. Mountains we climbed yesterday, we're getting up there about as high as they are. And other mountains we probably climbed too. We're up on a ridge right now, so we have a view on the other side too. Super pretty. This is pretty hard today just because, you know, coming out of camp, you always are coming out of resupply. You've got a full food bag. You eat down all your food. So the last day or so, we had mostly empty food bags. No weight. Your food bag's going to weigh like five, seven, eight pounds, depending on how much food you carry for five or six days. So you add that on to what you're already carrying, whatever your base weight is. Like Linda's is 21. And um, so you add seven pounds to that. That's 28 pounds. You know, that's a good bag of dog food. <laughs> Before she got all of her new equipment, it was closer to 35. So she's still down a lot, which is really gonna help with the hiking. Because, I mean, can you imagine carrying a 35-pound bag of dog food up and down mountains? <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> really hard. Hey, Linda. Oh, God. Just <laughs> hey, <scared> Linda. <laughs> How did it feel to take a shower at the hostel? Oh, my God, y'all. I just can't even tell you. <laughs> I cannot. I took two. Okay? <laughs> I took two just because I could. And the, just, the muddy water running off you. <laughs> my washcloth was gray the first time. It yeah. Was, it was really just sick. It was amazing. It, was it felt so good yes. to get clean after five oh, clean days. Clothes. Oh, oh, yeah. They have loner clothes. It's like going to the Goodwill there, and you just grab a few pairs of clothes, and that way you can throw all your clothes in the washing machine and wash them. Take a good look at me. This is what two hours on the trail does. <laughs> you look amazing. You two look hours amazing. On the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Going straight up a mountain, more than one mountain. <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing. <laughs> Still headed up. I'm wondering if the shelter's at the top of the mountain. There's supposed to be a shelter somewhere up here. Woohoo! We are at top of the mountain at number one. You can see top of the mountain number two over there still pretty far up but great views out here well I think it's official I think we're done with Buzzard Knob. That's the name of that mountain that we just climbed. We are headed downhill. But there's another mountain ahead of us, so that might be that second little mountain. But I thought we already went over two little mountains, so we'll see. 
Well, do you see Linda up there? Apparently we do have to climb a second mountain. <laughs> Here we go. Back up. She's ahead of me. Speeding along with her new pack. The sunny weather made little leaves pop out. There's Linda, way up there. It's steep. And here's why. Look, we're as high as some of the mountains and higher than some. And there is the other knob we already climbed. Yes, that's actually, that pile of rocks is actually the top of the mountain. So we don't have to do the top of the mountain, just very close to it. <laughs> but look at this view. Oh, here's a great view of the mountains we climbed today. There's the one, there's the other, and then there's a little one down here that we started out on. I don't think you can really see it through the trees. But anyway, that's what we did today, so far. Just walked up to the top of the hill and here's what I saw. Wow, look at that. Ooh, we're going down. There goes Linda. You can barely see her white pack. She's easy to see now. I am so glad we have our views back. So beautiful. Coming down off the mountain into the rhododendrons. Well, I'm showing you all these pretty views. This is actually what I'm looking at. <laughs> all these roots and rocks in the trail. If you don't watch where you're walking every step, you will tumble down. So a lot of times while I'm showing you something I've glanced up and looked at, the camera's up, my eyes are down watching where I'm walking. <laughs> and I'm just holding the camera as steady as I can. And those roots will just jump up and grab you for no reason at all. <laughs> It's a big tree, but they cleared it for us. Trail maintainers do an awfully good job. They had to cut a lot of logs here.
tree. Just growing on top of the rocks. Still standing. Looks like it's tried to fall over. goes on up that hill. You can see those white blazes. But look at this. Plum Orchard Gap. Shelter. Here's the blue blaze off the trail. And we're here. This was a short day today because we started at 1.30. So we just decided to go to the first shelter, which was um, just about five miles in. It was so nice staying in a bed last night. I was busy downloading YouTube videos, so my phone was pretty busy and I didn't do any videoing really there. Linda got some pictures of people for me, so we got pictures of some of the people that stayed there, but I didn't even video our room or the place or anything like that because my phone was downloading videos the entire time I was there. And we were only there, you know, around 24 hours. It takes so long to download the YouTube videos, each one, that you can't sit on a mountain that long and do it if you get a little bit of service on a mountain. I mean, it's hours to download videos, so I just do it when I get into town. But I can edit them out on the trail because I don't have to have service for that. So I can lay in my bed at night in my tent or in a shelter and edit videos with my headphones on so I don't bother anybody. So the shelter's a ways off the trail down the mountain. So we're gonna climb a mountain to get back up in the morning, which isn't as bad as it sounds. I mean, it really gets the blood pumping and warms you up in the morning if it's chilly. So it's kind of nice. Look at how cute this is. It's another little fairy forest. This is the water source. Oh look, I put in a little pipe up there from a spring. Let's make it a little easier for us to get water out. And go over. Woo! Had to jump over a little bit. Sorry about that. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. We have a bridge to go over. Oh, it's a nice shelter with windows and an upstairs loft, I bet. <laughs> Sorry, roots, rocks. Look how nice. This is the Plum Orchard campsite where we're staying. They have the bear box and the bear cables up there. You can see them hanging down right here. So you can hang your food. There are some campsites here you can see one right over there. There might be some more, but it doesn't look like too many. It's pretty rough terrain, but I think maybe behind the shelter there's some more. But the shelter is really cool. It's got three levels. It's supposed to hold like 17 people or something like that. So here's the shelter. You can just see the roof of the privy over there. It's just a typical privy. It's got a light hanger, but yeah, that's for light, not necessarily to hang bear bags. It's not gonna keep a bear from getting your bag. Nice fire pit. There's a table and it's under the roof. Chattahoochee National Forest, Plum Orchard Gap Shelter. And I gotta show you this. 
so people can sleep on the lower level right here and then there's this little bit higher level there there's steps going up here and you see these in the uh, shelters and these basically just hold the uh, books and you can sign into the book it's usually got a, a book and a pen in it so you can sign in and see who's been to the shelter before you and but here's the higher level here and the steps going up to the loft area up there and these things right here are for you to hang your backpack on in hopes that you can keep the mice out of them and also to get them out of the way of the people who are sleeping. And this shelter even has windows up there. And here's the top level. Windows on both ends, it's really nice.